So Dr. Patel, with new bispecific antibodies coming out, uh, there's a host of different types of agents like bispecific T-cell engagers, there's biparatopic antibodies. How do you think they're different from a mechanistic, clinical, and operational perspective? Yeah, so that's a, a big question, and so I'm going to start just with the T-cell engagers. So T-cell engagers, I kind of think of them as a way to recruit the immune system. And so essentially you have two epitopes. One is attaching to the antigen on the tumor, and then you have one that's kind of pulling in the T-cell, which is going to ha kind of do the killing action. And so essentially when it brings, you know, when we bring the immune system to the tumor, you have the killing action, and that's kind of how they work, extremely potent drugs, um, but do have some concerning side effects that we have to monitor really closely. And so um, cytokine release syndrome, essentially activation of the immune system gets into overdrive, and um, patients can get extremely sick from that. And there's also neurotoxicity, again, from that. Um, and so those are things that we really have to think about when we're giving these kinds of drugs. And how do you typically approach managing these patients with CRS or ICANS? Yeah, that's a great question. So typically with these T-cell engagers, these patients are being monitored for their first few infusions um, in the hospital. So you're watching them, you're getting vitals, you're really watching them really closely. And so you can intervene overnight because you, know, they, you really have to be vigilant and keep a really close eye on them. And from a therapeutic standpoint, do you think uh, bioperitopic antibodies like xanadatumab sort of um, offer an extra edge over other therapies? Yeah, so, so great question. That is also kind of a little bit separate, right, from the T-cell engagers where um, they're still bispecifics, uh, but they are essentially attaching to two antigens on the same antigen. That's kind of how I think about it. Um, so you have one antigen, one is attaching to you know one epitope, and the other is attaching to the same, on the same antigen, another epitope. And so the idea is that uh, behind these drugs, really, and the hope, with, and we see this with sanitanumab, is that um, the hope is that we can overcome mechanisms of resistance. And so um, with the duration of response we saw with that drug, I, I feel like the theoretical kind of hope seems real, um, and that's kind of the hope moving that part of the field forward. And, you know, in GI cancers, um, we are really hopeful that these bispecifics are really going to help us kind of lock, unlock the targeted, you know, the targeted right. um, therapies and, and kind of move us past chemotherapy.